The Mountain West Conference will at least postpone its season. Big Ten, now Pac-12, uh, saying they'll likely cancel things. If the Big 12 follows suit and Texas Tech doesn't play football, that loss trickles down economically to a lot of folks here in town. And KMX Matthew Stell joins us tonight for a look at that. Yeah, Brian, a Texas Tech official we spoke to says the next 24 hours will be very interesting as the college football season hangs in the balance. We're expecting an official announcement from the Power Five conferences sometime tomorrow. But like you said, Brian, if the Red Raiders don't find themselves on the field this year, our local economy should get ready to take a big hit. The Jones may look like this in a few weeks. Empty. As rumors of a college football season not happening start to seem like a reality. I don't want to be depressed because of football, but it is something that could have made me a lot happier if it had occurred. Lubbock Chamber of Commerce President Eddie McBride says no Red Raider football could cost the Lubbock economy six to eight million dollars a weekend. And that's just on top of what the COVID-19 pandemic has already done. They were saying, well, at least we have the fall season sports, you know, especially football to look forward to, to help where they have been hurt so tremendously. Whatever cash on hand a lot of these businesses have, and they were banking on this potentially to, to put them in a better position, it's not going to happen now. Someone who understands that, Lubbock City Councilman Steve Massingale, who also happens to own the Matador. You know, we're, we're unique in that we, we serve the athletic department as the merchandiser in the stadium. And uh, those those days are significant for our business, and so it would it will be it would neg negatively impact us to a great degree not to have football season. And with the possibility of no fall sports, he's already having to make some tough decisions. Personally, our business, uh, we've already reached out to several people to hire for football, and we'll have to call and, and re re rescind those offers if that happens. The Jones not open for business also affects hundreds of people who work those games like concession workers, custodial staff, parking attendants, and even students who depend on part-time jobs to pay for school. And knowing that hard truth leads Massingale to believe that. We can watch football safely. And I know there are other concerns for the athletes and I understand that, but I, I feel like we could, uh, as a fan base, participate safely. Texas Tech does tell us if the football season gets canceled, season ticket holders and those that have bond tailgating passes will be offered some sort of refund. Brian? Matthew, thank you.